On a special Halloween edition of Friday Night Smackdown, it is a massive main event as just days removed from his win over Edge at Clash at the Castle, Austin Theory is set to challenge Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship. A SummerSlam main event on Halloween weekend. Also tonight, the one and only Ricochet is going to have his hands full with the Aussie icon Grayson Waller one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever. And on the road to Survivor Series, who will be the first to qualify for the Women's World Championship Eliminator at Survivor Series? But tonight, it will be the EST Bianca Belair, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, who will punch their ticket to Madison Square Garden. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship. Well, what a way to kick things off tonight. We are bookending tonight's SmackDown with epic championship affairs. We are live from the O2 Arena in London, England, continuing on with our international tour and the United States Championship is on the line. A very interesting situation at hand. Just hours after the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes retained his United States title over John Cena this past Sunday night at Clash at the Castle. He issued an open challenge to the SmackDown locker room for right here tonight in the O2 Arena. And of course, Butch, his challenger tonight, a member of the Monday Night Raw roster. However, that goal that's already on the shoulders of the Bruiser right, his bridge between Raw and SmackDown and giving him the el eligibility, excuse me, if we can get it out, to accept the American Nightmares challenge tonight. Butch, a former two-time Intercontinental Champion, one of the former NXT United Kingdom Champions as well. He's got to feel right here at home in the O2 Arena in London, England. And of course, one half of the World Tag Team Champion successfully retaining that gold alongside Ridge Holland against Legado del Fantasma this past Sunday. Cannot think of a better way to kick things off tonight in London than with the red, white, blue, and gold being on the line. Halloween weekend shaping up to be a massive weekend, especially kicking things off here on SmackDown. He has defeated Guther, Ricochet, Braun Breaker, Grayson Waller, and now add John Cena to the list as of this past Sunday. But will Cody Rhodes be able to get through the Bruiserweight, who is fighting out of very familiar soils tonight in the O2 in London, England? London blowing the roof off of the O2 Arena. Cody Rhodes has been a fighting champion. We just ran down every man he has stepped up to and stepped aside during his United States Championship reign. But the Bruiserweight Butch, ever the opportunist here tonight, again with that added caveat of being the World Tag Team Champion, able to be here on SmackDown and able to accept Cody Rhodes' challenge at what a night it could be for the Bruiserweight if not only he leaves London as one half of the World Tag Team Champions, but could somehow leave as the new United States Champion. How would that play in to where Butch's Talents lie, whether it be on Raw or SmackDown. All remains to be seen, but first things first, he's got to get the job done against the American Nightmare. We are bookending tonight's Halloween edition of SmackDown with Championship Affairs as the Road to Survivor Series on the blue end kicks off tonight. It's going to be an awesome night of action here in the O2 Arena. Let's not waste any more time. Let's send things down to the ring for your official pre-match introduction. Introducing the challenger from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, Bush! And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the WWE United States Champion, the American You gotta wonder the condition of both of these superstars coming into this championship match tonight. 
both going through physical battles this past Sunday in Principality Stadium at Cardiff, Wales. Again, Butch alongside Ridge Holland retaining the tag team titles over Legato del Fantasma. Cody Rhodes putting away John Cena to retain the gold that is now hoisted above the ring. But Cody, ever the fighting champion, threw out the gauntlet and Butch took the bait. It is championship match time here on SmackDown Halloween. Thank you for joining us here tonight for SmackDown. It's been an awesome week internationally, kicking things off at Clash at the Castle this past Sunday, right here in the O2 for Monday Night Raw this past Monday night, back here again for SmackDown. Of course, this Monday we'll, we will be in Dublin, Ireland next Friday night, Drew McIntyre's home place of Glasgow, Scotland. Continuing on with our international tour on the road to Survivor Series, which is coming your way Sunday night, November the 19th. New York City, Madison Square Garden. What about one week from tomorrow? We're going to be back in Milwaukee in the United States for a special Saturday night's main event featuring stars from Raw and SmackDown. Cannot wait for those two big live premiere events. Here we go, Butch muscling the American Nightmare down to the canvas. And again, Butch is fighting in familiar soils tonight. All around Europe is where Butch made his name famous, where he became the Bruiserweight. Former NXT United Kingdom champion, two-time Intercontinental champion over on Monday Night Raw. Can he win US gold tonight and wear it alongside the tag team titles? Only getting the one count there of the American Nightmare. Hard to say who had the more challenging of a matchup this past Sunday. Obviously, Cody with the singles match. Butch a part of the tag. Butch was in the ring for a little bit longer than Cody Rhodes. Had a longer affair this past Sunday. Gotta wonder if that plays into any of the strategies for these two men tonight. Game of cat and mouse does not work out. And a big time German taking down the champion at ringside. Of course, champion referring to the United States champion and Cody Rhodes, but the challenger and Butch also wearing gold, making this a very interesting champion versus champion match for the United States title. Still to come in your main event. After defeating Edge for the first time in singles action this past Sunday night, Austin Theory challenges Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight title. It is a SummerSlam main event all these months later. SummerSlam rematch all these months later in your main event of SmackDown Halloween. Still so much more action to come on this very highly anticipated night on Friday Night SmackDown. And Butch taking down Cody Rhodes, big time lariat there. But Bruiser White is in control of this United States Championship match. And again, I pose the question, Butch only able to be here on SmackDown because he is one half of the World Tag Team Champions. We have seen the Brawling Brutes and part of the Blue brand many a times over the last number of weeks because of that. But technically their talents are assigned to Monday Night Raw. Once they, if it, I should say, if they lose those World Tag Team Championships, you never want to plague the champs, if they lose those World Tag Team titles, they will be assigned back to Raw. But if Butch wins the United States title tonight, where does his talents lie? Raw or SmackDown? Does the US title go to Monday Night Raw? A lot of interesting caveats in this opening matchup tonight. Cody Rhodes is just not having an answer for Butch right now. The Bruiserweight is having his way with the American Nightmare. Cody may have bit off more than he can chew, issuing an open challenge just days after a physical match with the franchise John Cena. Butch again, big time for him. Butch may have capitalized just on the right moment here tonight. The stars may be aligned for a new United States champion. Cody's had one hell of a run. Kicked off August the 20th, but October the 27th may be the expiration date for the American Nightmare's run atop Friday Night SmackDown. Or remains to be seen as Butch is just continuing to beat down on the American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes is in trouble right now. He's got to mount some offense somehow, some way, or the Bruiserweight is going to have a landslide to winning the U.S. title. Don't speak too soon as Cody Rhodes trying to get back into this thing. Butch into the corner, and Cody throwing some kicks to the rib cage. Some desperation shots by the American Nightmare, who drops the knee to the lower back. Cody Rhodes. Look at his continue to show why he is a top, one of the best of the best in the entire world, not just in WWE, as the United States Champion. 
See if he can continue to mount this comeback over the Bruiserway, who has controlled the majority of this matchup thus far. Oh, and Cody countered out and sent for a ride over the top rope by Butch. The Bruiserweight taking advantage of the American Nightmare, who gets sent back inside the ring, not by will, but by force, of one half of the World Tag Team Champions, but there's Cody this time, flipping the switch. And Cody's starting to get fired up. Wait a minute, springboard down to the outside. Butch goes crashing to the floor of the O2 Arena. We may be in Butch's backyard tonight, but the American Nightmare loved all around the world. Great energy for this opening match between the champion and challenger and this capacity crowd in the O2 Arena. Dropkick lands on the button, but can Cody Rhodes continue to capitalize here? There's Butch. Couple of shots to the rib cage. Nothing pretty, but certainly effective. And that really describes Butch's whole move set inside the ring, which is why they call him the Bruiserweight. And now the eyes locked on the champion. Are we nearing a new United States Championship holder? Bitter end. Butch is going to do it. New champion here in the O2. Not just yet, Cody Rhodes. Barely still in it. Close call there. The Bruiserweight almost taking advantage. The bitter end knocked out Cody just not long enough. Oh, wait a minute. Cody gets to his feet, but he might have got caught. Cody Rhodes, there's a big time reversal into the bridge. Cody Rhodes' back is up against the wall. Butch has got that home field advantage tonight. And the American Nightmare, who has not seen as much offense in this match, in my opinion, is fighting an uphill battle. There's a nice takedown, and immediately into the cover. Maybe a desperation pinfall here. And you see Butch, still got a lot left in the tank. Only a one count by the American Nightmare. Yeah, what a great matchup to kick things off. This is what the United States Championship is all about. We fight on Friday nights, and this is some high-level competition between the United States Champion and one half of the world, Tag Team Champions. Nice DDT. Who is going to walk away holding the gold of the red, white, and blue as Cody Rhodes goes behind? Wait a minute, I think we know what comes next. Vertebreaker into the cover. No waste in motion. Will that do it? No, Butch is still into it. Close call there. Cody thought he had him. Left no window of opportunity for Butch to recuperate. Immediately went to the three count, but still, the Bruiserweight's lights are still on. Hitting the moonsault. Elects not to go for the pinfall this time. Instead, Cody continues to rally this capacity crowd in the O2 arena. And Butch may be on spaghetti legs. How much does he have left after that vertebraker? Which may have even the playing field in terms of fatigue in this match. Butch again on roller skates. Hard shot with the forearm. Butch not afraid to break things down into a fight. That is what the brawling brutes do best. A pure six brawl, a couple of points later, and Butch may have this thing. And down goes Cody again. Is the man from right here in England gonna rally and bring home the gold of the United States here in the UK? Wait a minute, turning Cody inside out. Butch may have a recipe for success. Another forearm, and he could be looking for a second bitter end. Cody Rhodes is out. A little bit of a delay on the pinfall there. Butch dragging Cody away from the bottom rope. Here we go, lateral press, hook in the leg. Oh man, how close was that? Cody Rhodes barely, just barely getting the foot. Up to the rib cage of Butch, and here we get the shoulder off the canvas, and there's a crossroads out of nowhere. And Cody Rhodes, just as we said on Sunday night, if there's a will, there's a way. And Cody Rhodes is going to find that way to retain the United States Championship. Well, a great effort by Butch. Nothing to be ashamed of in defeat. Took the opportunity tonight, but unfortunately, Cody Rhodes was just the better man. And still... Oh, wait a minute. The phenomenal AJ Styles. 
What do we got going on here? Oh, wait a minute. AJ, what the hell? AJ Styles from behind just ambushed Cody Rhodes. Well, this is very uh, unlike AJ Styles, but unfortunately for Cody, I think the phenomenal one just called his shot. It's a rare Saturday Night production featuring some of the best from Raw and SmackDown. It's coming your way Saturday, November the 4th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The Road to Survivor Series will make a pit stop in Milwaukee for the return of Saturday night's main event. Don't miss this exciting night of action. Live November 4th at Saturday night's main event. Well, we are back live here in the O2 Arena in London, England. Grayson Waller set for action against Ricochet, but I'm still trying to wrap my head around what we just saw moments ago. Cody retaining his US title, but ambushed from behind by AJ Styles. It's not unlikely for Styles to win an opportunity and Cody Rhodes ever a fighting champion, but to ambush Cody from behind, a little bit out of character for AJ Styles if I say so myself. Nonetheless, a developing situation there, but let's refocus because the one and only Ricochet, the human highlight reel of the blue brand, is live and in living color in London, England. And his opponent from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Well, both of these men were mentioned just at the top of the hour as men who Cody Rhodes has recently defeated to retain his United States Championship. Grayson Waller still a pretty newcomer here to SmackDown, made his debut last month at the season premiere. Ricochet was Cody's first challenger back in August after SummerSlam. Both of these men looking to carve a new path of momentum here on Friday Night SmackDown. Grayson Waller looking for his first victory, a part of the blue brand. And Ricochet, who's had a little bit of a rocky couple of months here on the SmackDown. I remember back in the Cruiserweight Classic as well, Ricochet was knocked out of the tournament. So an opportunity tonight for either man to reach up and grab the brass ring. And try to make a new name for themselves, if you will, here on Friday nights. Halloween edition of SmackDown set to continue. A night that still will feature a World Heavyweight Championship main event as Austin Theory challenges Drew McIntyre, plus Bianca Belair, Shayna Baszler, set to go one-on-one. -on -one. The winner will be the first entrant into that four-woman four elimination matchup for the Women's World Championship, November the 19th at Survivor Series. Cannot wait to see how that is gonna unfold, but Grayson Waller in here with Ricochet, the Aussie icon, as he calls him, took NXT by storm in 2021-2022. A lot of this year as well, but is now a part of Friday Night SmackDown and came in immediately grasping an opportunity, accepting an open challenge by Cody Rhodes, which is, as you could see, just as Butch got his opportunity moments ago. It was an unsuccessful outing for Grayson Waller on that night, obviously turned some heads and made a name for himself long enough to get signed for a SmackDown contract. Ricochet not interested in the Aussie Icons affairs, however, we're going to get back in the win column here tonight in the O2. Remember last week on SmackDown, Grayson Waller alongside Austin Fury in a losing effort to the rated R superstar Edge and the man who just ambushed Cody Rhodes, AJ Styles. Still can't wrap my head around that. Very uncharacteristic for the phenomenal one. Nonetheless, look out below. Ricochet with a springboard 450. Oh, what? Wait a minute. Well, well, Ricochet got the victory there, but unless my eyes are deceiving me, I think Grayson Waller might have grabbed the ropes. And that, the referee might have missed that. Let's check the replay here. Oh, yeah, he Here's had the winner. ropes. Ricochet. I don't know. Listen, all the respect to Ricochet. He earned it, but Grayson Waller, he, he had his hand on the ropes. We're gonna have to show that to the referee. We might need to run this back in the future. The Aussie icon, I'll tell you, ain't gonna be happy about that result. Coming your way on Sunday night, November the 19th at 5 p.m. Eastern time. It's a live premiere event 
It's the 2023 edition of the Fall Classic, the Thanksgiving week tradition. It's WWE Survivor Series. Brought to you by Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. And not only is this going to be a night of epic proportions, but it will emanate from the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden in New York City. Don't miss Survivor Series live from MSG on November 19th. Well, who is going to be the first woman to qualify for the Women's World Championship? Elimination match next month at Survivor Series. We find out right now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. Well, I'll tell you what, it's been some time over a year here in the WWE since the EST Bianca Belair held championship gold. Singles championship gold, that is. And you gotta believe Bianca now with this new opportunity to rise the ranks on SmackDown and become the first women's world champion. You know she's looking to take the fullest advantage of this opportunity. But make no mistake about it, there's gonna be eight women vying for those four spots over the next number of weeks. And only one woman will be able to leave Madison Square Garden Sunday night, November the 19th, as SmackDown's very first women's world champion. Who is that gonna be? We're gonna find out, as we mentioned, Sunday night, November the 19th, New York City, Madison Square Garden, live premiere event at 5 p.m. Eastern time. We got action right now in the 0-2. And from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Well, something about Shayna Baszler just brings an eerie feeling over any arena she elects to walk down the aisle. And you gotta believe Baszler may be more motivated than anybody in the SmackDown Women's Division to capitalize on this opportunity and become the Women's World Champion. It was only back in September last month in No Mercy where Shayna Baszler, the former WWE Women's Champion, was cashed in on by the former Money in the Bank holder, Rhea Ripley, to win the Women's Championship. And of course, Shayna had yet to get her rematch against Rhea Ripley, but now with the new opportunities and the new championship, Rhea Ripley officially bringing the WWE Women's title to Monday Night Raw, the Women's World Championship to be upon SmackDown. So if Baszler wants to be a champion again, it's got to start here tonight. All remains to be seen. Bianca Belair, Shayna Baszler, two very highly motivated women. Baszler picking up a victory. Just a few weeks ago on SmackDown, Bianca Belair last month of the season premiere was able to defeat Shotzi, a woman she has had a lot of history with throughout the last couple of months here in the blue brand in that epic no disqualifications matchup. Both of these women deserving of this opportunity tonight, but only one of them will participate. In the four-way elimination contest, November the 19th at Survivor Series. All oh, remains to be seen, but you gotta believe both of them are gonna scratch and claw for that opportunity. Especially again, Shayna Baszler not getting her rematch after losing the Women's Championship of the WWE last month at No Mercy. Gotta believe Shayna is itching to get some gold back around her waist. Especially after it was such a dominant summer for the Queen of Spades here in the WWE, defeating Liv Morgan for the women's title back in June at King of the Ring, retaining it over Liv yet again at Money in the Bank in July. And you remember the matchup they were calling the money fight, Baszler and Asuka back at SummerSlam, where Shayna Baszler defeated the Empress of Tomorrow at Levi Stadium on that night. And remember No Mercy, Rhea Ripley cashed in on an already weakened Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. That was moments after Baszler had tapped out Candice LeRae in an extremely physical contest that night in Baltimore. Shayna Baszler looking for her spot back at the top, but she's got to get through Bianca Belair tonight. And Bianca might have just went through Shayna physically moments ago off that spear. But now look at the strength out of the EST. Can anybody do it better in the women's division? I don't know if there is. Big time maneuver by Bianca, who hits the ropes. And a signature splash immediately into the cover to go to Survivor Series, not just yet. Shayna getting the shoulder up. 
as this matchup rolls on. Cannot wait for Survivor Series, one of my personal favorite pay-per-view events of the year. The fall classic Thanksgiving week tradition. Survivor Series is going to be an epic night, all about being the sole survivor and the last woman standing for each and every woman in the SmackDown women's division. Shayna Baszler has a big time counter moment to go, dropping Bianca Belair right on the crown of her head and now working on that very neck and head region. Should have knocked Bianca out cold, and there you go. Speaking of such, big time Nita Bianca. Rolls to the outside, trying to create some distance, but Shayna has other plans as she goes for a big time, almost superwoman punch. Might have been a little forearm in that as well. And Shayna Baszler is beaten down on Bianca Belair at ringside right now. Now we said Baszler was motivated, and I think after throwing caution in the wind moments ago, she has proven just that. And again, Bianca's got no answer right now. Shayna Baszler has flipped the switch. Ever since that knee moments ago, it's as if the lights are on and nobody's home for the EST and Bianca Belair. Shayna again with the gut wrench. Referee's at a count of six right now. These women got to get back inside the ring before nobody's going to Survivor Series. Count of seven. Shayna Baszler still unloading lefts and rights with the hands, with the feet. Shayna back inside the ring. Bianca's dazed. Count of nine. Bianca's got to get back in. Oh, you got to be kidding me. A count out victory for Shayna Baszler tonight. You know what? Little, little pretty pretty on par for Shayna Baszler. Let's be real. She did that during her championship reign. She did it again to qualify for Survivor Series tonight. Here is your winner, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. I'll tell you what, Bianca is not going to be happy about that result, but at the end of the day, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, becomes the first woman to qualify for the four-woman elimination matchup Sunday night, November the 19th at Survivor Series for the Women's World Championship. Well, next week we are live from the OVO Hydro Arena in Glasgow, Scotland. And who will be the second to qualify for the Women's World Championship match at Survivor Series? Will it be Zoe Stark or will it be Candice Lorray? Ilya Dragunov won the Cruiserweight Classic and is set for a Cruiserweight Championship match in the near future. But will it be Escobar defending that gold as the leader of Legado del Fantasma issues a Championship Open Challenge next week in Scotland? This past Sunday, Randy Orton, he came up short against Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight title. He returns to SmackDown next week, hell-bent on victory. Can he get through Johnny Gargano, or will Gargano shine through next week on SmackDown? And as we mentioned, it is Glasgow, Scotland, and World Championship in hand or not. We will find out in moments, but the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, returns home live next week on SmackDown from the OVO Hydro Arena in Glasgow, Scotland. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. It is main event time here from the O2 in London, England, and Austin Theory has got the opportunity of a lifetime. This past Sunday night at Clash at the Castle, Austin Theory finally defeated the Rated R Superstar Edge in one-on-one -on -one action, and Theory wasted no time throwing out the challenge to Drew McIntyre for a World Heavyweight Championship match. And even though McIntyre had an extremely grueling battle with the Apex Predator Randy Orton this past Sunday in Cardiff, McIntyre never won to turn away a challenge. Tonight, London, England gets a treat. First, the United States Championship match. Now the World Heavyweight title set to main event this Halloween weekend edition of Friday Night SmackDown. Austin Theory and Drew McIntyre headline the SmackDown portion of the SummerSlam main event back in August. It was a successful victory for McIntyre on that night, but will the 2023 King of the Ring winner in Austin Theory have lightning strike in the same place? Will he defeat Drew McIntyre and become the new 
World Heavyweight Champion. Well, Drew McIntyre has certainly made a case to become the 2023 Superstar of the Year. From winning Elimination Chamber to the main event of WrestleMania and retaining his World Heavyweight Championship month after month ever since, McIntyre has turned away any and all challengers, some of the absolute best that Friday Night SmackDown has had to offer. And even though he has ran it with Austin Theory in the past, even though he has defeated Austin Theory in the past, you gotta believe Theory is coming into this matchup in a better mindset than when they fought back at SummerSlam. Remember, one of the big issues between Theory and Edge was Edge defeated Austin Theory just a week and change before he fought McIntyre back at SummerSlam. In Theory's mind, really derailing his momentum. Now all these months later, Theory's hot off the heels over a win over the Rated R Superstar Edge. Now coming into this matchup with a much clearer mindset, more confident than ever, I am sure. Does Theory have what it takes to keep down the Scottish Warrior and become the World Heavyweight Champion? And again, take into account that both of these men in grueling battles less than a week ago in Cardiff, Wales. McIntyre possibly even in one of his biggest and hardest battles to date against the Apex Predator Randy Orton, who on multiple occasions dropped Drew McIntyre with RKO's, clearly had a chance to become the world champion on that night. In the end, it was a surprise Claymore kick that got the one, two, three. But will that be enough? Will McIntyre be able to get th through Austin Theory here tonight at the 0-2? Or is Austin Theory leaving with the big gold belt? Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. And his opponent from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds. He is the World Heavyweight Champion, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Certainly a big fight feel. Smackdown Halloween emanates from the O2 Arena in London, England. And Drew McIntyre in a familiar corner handing over the world championship and will it be for the very last time is one of the fastest rising stars in smackdown history austin theory set to take his spot at the top here tonight multiple questions needing answers as mcintyre theory kick off round two here on friday night smackdown collar and elbow to start things out these guys familiar with each other again. The SmackDown main event at SummerSlam. Austin Theory was even one of five superstars who competed in the World Championship match back at No Mercy last month in Baltimore. Very interesting to see how this matchup is going to progress. How their familiarity with each other is going to play into their strategies in this matchup as Theory drops McIntyre with the DDT. Austin Theory again. Got to be more confident than ever. Riding very high off a win over Edge that he promised victory in. A match that he needed to win. Right now, he's got McIntyre on the outside, but Theory better take advantage, and that time he does. Tope Suicida earlier in the matchup. And it's not often you see Drew McIntyre. Oh, wait a minute. Don't count him out just yet. I was going to say, not often you see McIntyre. Already down and out in the early going, but that time was able to take out Theory and once again drops him on the floor. McIntyre has made a world championship run of even when you think he's down and out, rising from a phoenix and coming out to retain the world championship. Will that be the same story tonight? Or will McIntyre see a more dominant victory over Austin Theory? That is always the potential when you're in there with the Scottish Warrior. And again, we want to remind you about the epic week it is going to be kicking off Monday Night Raw, Dublin, Ireland this Monday. The Deadly Games Eliminator to see who is going to fight Seth Rollins for the WWE Championship at Survivor Series. Set to kick off, plus LA Knight and Sami Zayn meeting for the Intercontinental Championship. 
Next Friday night on SmackDown, Randy Orton. It's been a topic of discussion in your main event. Goes one-on-one -on -one with Johnny Gargano. Should be an awesome contest. Plus Santos Escobar looking to prove his worth at the top of the Cruiserweight division. Open challenge for the Cruiserweight title next week. That is going to be an epic, very interesting affair. And of course, McIntyre, win, lose, or draw tonight, promises to come home to Glasgow, Scotland. You got to believe McIntyre is looking for that homecoming next Friday night with the world title around his waist. Off the leg drop into the cover to retain, not just yet. What about a week from tomorrow? Back in the States, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Raw and SmackDown superstar set for Saturday night's main event. Which will be coming your way November the 4th at 5 p.m. Eastern time as McIntyre looking for 10 beats of the boundary. Austin Theory is going to feel that one on Saturday morning. McIntyre is fired up in the middle of the O2 arena. And turning on the Jets, and over the top rope comes the Scottish Warrior. Flying through the sky like a fire-breathing dragon is Drew McIntyre. And Theory, his bell is wrong as McIntyre tries to come off the apron that time, but Theory had it scouted. McIntyre better not try to go to the well too much with some of the same offense he had against Austin Theory back on August the 20th at SummerSlam. All these months later, who is gonna be the better man? Austin Theory catches Drew on his arrival back inside the squared circle and now just trying to squeeze the life out of the World Heavyweight Champion. If a man can't breathe, he certainly can't fight. There's Drew with his heart still in it. Again, we have seen McIntyre in some of the worst predicaments. Just when you think he's down, though, he rises from the ashes, rises like a phoenix to retain his world championship. Will that be the same situation tonight? Or will Austin Theory capitalize on this opportunity? Blockbuster to the world heavyweight champion. Oh, Theory elects not to go for the pinfall. Could have been going for A-Town down. Nobody home and a Glasgow kiss. The cover by McIntyre. Not just yet, Theory's still into it. Well, McIntyre, the Glasgow kiss seven nights out from our arrival in Scotland, but it's not enough for the one, two, three. Theory off the counter and a drop toe hold. Both men going tit for tat there, and now Theory is looking to get the better hand. Man, imagine if Austin Theory one week before McIntyre's homecoming in Glasgow, Scotland, is able to take away the World Heavyweight Championship. Imagine what that would do to the heart, the soul, the psyche of a man who has reigned atop Friday Night SmackDown for the better part of 2023. All remains to be seen if Theory can get the job done, or is Drew McIntyre ready to get the ball rolling here? Look at the strength as a big time belly to belly sending Theory out of the ring, down to the floor of the O2. Theory might have got the wind knocked out of him for good in this matchup. McIntyre's on his trail, he's back on the apron, and this time gets the shot he was looking for a few minutes ago, using his own body as a weapon to take out Theory yet again. Drew McIntyre mounting a comeback here. Theory is now the one with dazed and confused looks in his eyes. Oh, wait a minute. McIntyre got caught. He got slingshotted off that middle buckle. Back and forth, the pendulum of momentum swings in this match. Theory a little slow to take advantage. Luckily, McIntyre didn't have his wits about him that time. Again, these two superstars know each other's playbooks. How much homework have they done, however, into the lead up, into the preparation? for this rematch all these months later here on the Halloween edition of SmackDown. Austin Theory certainly fired up, but better not take his eye off the ball. A pump kick to Drew McIntyre. And once again drops the world champion. Theory may be getting close to victory here. But does he have this warrior wounded? Cradles up Drew, drops him on the knee. Could have been a knockout blow to win the World Heavyweight title. McIntyre with the shoulder off the canvas. Close call by Theory, wait a minute. 
McIntyre tips up, but he might have got caught. A town down. Austin Theory once again into the cover. But Drew McIntyre is still alive. Austin Theory looking to make Friday Night SmackDown. Austin Theory live, but McIntyre says otherwise. McIntyre barely surviving. Kipped up but fell right into the A-Town down. And that was once again staring up at the lights, at least for the moment, but brought to his own two feet. Not by will, but by force. McIntyre is hurt. This warrior is certainly wounded, and Austin Theory's foot is on the gas pedal, but he got caught that time. Can't go to the well with repetitive maneuvers against the World Heavyweight Champion. As Drew gonna make him pay for it on the outside. Theory tried to hit his second tope of this matchup, and McIntyre saw it coming from a mile away. Now with Theory in the corner, squashes him up against the buckles. Oh, wait a minute, McIntyre. Could be going for the kill. Count him down. Let him loose. A Claymore kick. Cover by McIntyre. Will that do it? No. Austin Theory is still alive. It only took one back at SummerSlam, but it might take more here tonight. A second Claymore. And Drew McIntyre retains the World Heavyweight Championship. Austin Theory thought he had McIntyre caught on numerous occasions, but unfortunately his momentum coming out of Clash at the Castle comes to a screeching halt thanks to not one, but two Claymore kicks by the Scottish Warrior. Here is your winner, and still World Heavyweight Champion, Oh my god, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Gunther! The ring general! Gunther is in the ring! And he's staring down Drew McIntyre! Oh my goodness, this meeting of monsters of Friday Night SmackDown may be looming. Is Gunther calling his shot for the World Heavyweight Championship? Good night, ladies and gentlemen, from London, England. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.